German Shepherd pups are quite frankly adorable. But as with most large dogs, GSD pups don't stay small forever, no matter how cute they were early on. You end up with a large dog that can have some challenging needs that not everyone is equipped to handle. So just in case the cuteness is tempting you, here are five reasons not to get a German Shepherd dog. We're going to have to start out with the humongous elephant in the room, dog hair, because it's one of the more important points and one many people complain about, even German Shepherd fancy heirs. If you don't like dog hair everywhere, yes, everywhere, I've even found it in closed cereal boxes, a German Shepherd might not be the best dog for you. Hair is an issue that must be taken into account for this breed. They require regular coat maintenance, especially if you have a long-haired GSD, in which case you also have to deal with knots along with the shedding. You're going to need a good amount of time to set aside for grooming and some good brushes. I'll link some in the description. Not only do these dogs shed continuously, but they also blow their coat, lose all their undercoat, twice a year in the spring and fall. Don't forget a good vacuum, and you're going to need it. I personally use a shop vac, but I don't have carpet. Want to show YouTube that you like videos about dogs? Make sure to hit that thumbs up button below. Don't forget to smash subscribe and ring the bell for more. Thinking of lounging on the couch? <laughs> no way. German Shepherd owners know that won't happen until you've walked your dog, gone to the park, or provided some sort of exercise. German Shepherds are very active, both mentally and physically. Thus, they require both mental and physical stimulation to be happy, functioning members of society. And by functioning members of society, I mean they need it so as not to be an anxiety-ridden, neurotic mess that drives you absolutely up the wall. Something like that. Your German Shepherd needs to feel useful and needed, and needs to be an active member of the family. If you are unable to walk, play, and be there for your dog, then these are not the right dogs for you. The German Shepherd is the third most intelligent dog according to dog psychologist Stanley Corin. Which breed do you think is number one? Comment your answer below with the hashtag LoveDogs. If your answer to the above dilemma is just put the dog outside to live, then the German Shepherd is also not a good dog for you. Dogs are pack oriented. And German Shepherds are no different. In fact, the German Shepherd is best described as a Velcro dog. Your German Shepherd's favorite spot, the spot it needs to be, is close to you. They get separation anxiety from being separated from their pack, and that includes you. They are happiest with a family unit, and being left outside unattended only leads to mischief and a miserable dog. If you don't want to share your inside space with a dog, then this is not the ideal dog for you. Keep in mind that very few breeds are happy with a lonesome existence as a backyard dog. We've established that the German Shepherd needs to get outside a lot, but also needs to live inside with a the family. These combine to create our next dilemma, filth. Mud is fantastic for boosting your appearance, but it's not so great when you have a trail of muddy paw prints on your carpet or the stench of a wet dog drifting through your house. If you're concerned about the effect a dirty, wet, and smelly dog can have on your home, then a GSD isn't for you. If you're a neat freak, you might want to look at our list of best small dogs for apartments linked in the description below. Oh, and don't expect newly purchased items to stay in one piece, especially dog toys. I can tell you tales of how dog toys magically exploded. German Shepherds were created perfectly. Their tail is the perfect height for sweeping a coffee table. And of course, there goes your cup of coffee. Kitchen tables are the perfect height for them to rest their heads on while you eat. They also require large sized poop bags for cleaning up after. And rugs left on hard floors tend to turn into skateboards for constantly moving German Shepherds. Last, but one of the most important aspects of German Shepherd ownership is training as this is the reason most German Shepherds are surrendered to shelters. German Shepherds are very smart, one of the smartest dogs there are, but they need training, absolutely no exceptions. An out-of-control German Shepherd is dangerous and can lead to some awful situations. 
I strongly recommend that all new owners seek help training their pups, especially if you've never had dogs before. They need socialization or else you're not going to be able to have guests or even the Amazon driver showing up. Do you want to give up walking your dog because it is aggressive to every other dog it sees? Growling at other dogs or your kids if they go near its toys or food? Chasing other animals and being a general nuisance? These are common in untrained German Shepherds. They learn quickly. This is good, but it also means they learn bad behaviors quickly. Couple this with a dog that has a tendency to be willful, and you have a dog that absolutely needs uncompromising rules set for it, and a solid base of basic obedience. You're considering a very large, powerful, and intelligent dog. But unless you are prepared to train your dog, you should think about another breed. Without training, a German Shepherd will be an absolute nightmare for you. But a well-trained German Shepherd can be a dream dog. That said, if you can cover these five things and you are absolutely sure you are okay with them, then the German Shepherd is one of the most enjoyable breeds that you could ever be with. Here are a few more videos for you to enjoy. Also, check in the description for more German Shepherd videos. Don't forget to smash that like button and the subscribe button as well. Those really help you to show YouTube you like dog videos. And as always, catch you next time.